let's look for the value of h given that h plus h plus h is equal to h dot h dot h you would like to know that dot also means multiplication so this expression on the left h plus h plus h is 3 h this is equal to h dot h dot h is h to the 3 well I'm going to be moving this 3 h to the right hand side so that I have on the right I have h to the 3 and as 3 h crosses to the right it becomes minus 3 h now what will be remaining on the left will be 0 now I'll prefer to write this in this form I'll write this on the left which is h to the 3 minus 3h three equal to then I'll write the 0 on the right it feels good this way now notice that h is common so we can factor out h open bracket h to the 3 divided by h is h squared minus 3h divided by h is 3 and this is equal to 0 so we have two cases we have h to be equal to 0 or we have h squared minus 3 to be equal to 0 so this is a value for h h equal to 0 now from our second case now I'm going to be pay attention to this 3 3 is same as the square root of 3 raised to the 2 the reason is because this square can cancel out the square roots leaving behind 3 so what I have here and what I have here are the same so I'll be replacing this 3 with this square root of 3 to the 2 so that I have h squared minus the square root of 3 squared and this is equal to 0 now notice that we have an expression in difference of two squares which can be expressed as for example when I have a squared minus b squared an expression in difference of two squared this can be written as a minus b times a plus b now expressing this in this form we have h minus the square root of 3 times h plus the square root of 3 and this is equal to 0 so we have two cases we have h minus the square root of 3 to be equal to 0 or we have h plus the square root of 3 to be equal to 0 now to get the value of h I have to move negative square root of 3 to the right hand side so that I have h to be equal to as negative square root of 3 crosses to the right it becomes positive or h will be equal to I'll be moving positive square root of 3 to the right and as it crosses to the right it becomes negative square root of 3 now let's check our solution let's check our given question is h plus h plus h equal to h dot h dot h now we check when h is equal to 0 so we have on the left 0 plus 0 plus 0 equal to 0 times 0 times 0 now when we add 3 zeros we have 0 equal to when we multiply 3 zeros we also have 0 so the left hand side is equal to the right hand side now this time let's check for when h is equal to positive root 3 now this becomes the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 
to be equal to the square root of 3 dots the square root of 3 dots the square root of 3. Now, when I add the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3, I have 3 root 3 equal to. Now, on the right hand side, I'm going to be pairing 2. So the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 give me the square root of 3 squared. And this is being multiplied by the square root of 3. Now, notice that this square cancels out the square root leaving behind 3 roots 3 which is equal to the left hand side 3 roots 3 so we can count on h equal to the square root of 3 as a solution now let's try our last one when h is equal to negative root 3 so we have negative root 3 plus negative root 3 plus negative root 3 this is equal to let me just put this inside a parenthesis this is equal to negative root 3 times negative root 3 times negative root 3 now on the left negative root 3 plus negative root 3 plus negative root 3 gives me 3 negative root 3. And this is equal to, now I'm going to be pairing 2 together. So I'll take negative root 3 all squared. And this is multiplied by negative root 3. So 3 times negative root 3 gives me negative 3 root 3 to be equal to now the square of negative root 3 is 3 because this square cancels out the square roots and as a negative number is raised to the 2 or an even power it becomes positive times negative root 3 so this becomes negative 3 root 3 equal to 3 times negative root 3 is negative 3 root 3. So we can also say that h equal to negative root 3 is also a solution. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.